This is one of those videos that might be the most important video that I ever do on my YouTube channel. So if you haven't subscribed yet, I want to encourage you to do that. My name's Cody. I post tips and tricks on YouTube uh, to help people get better at Madden 21. And in today's video, I'm going to show you one of the most secret glitchiest plays in this game that I just found. And I want to get this out as soon as possible because I think it's not only going to help a lot of people, but I think it's going to give you kind of a little bit deeper of an understanding of what we already know to be one of the better runs in the game. So the better run in the game is the quarterback draw, right? The quarterback draw from five wide. Actually, I could show you that real quickly. Um, and I just want to show you real quick out of five wide gun empty tray. Um, looks like this playbook doesn't even have it out of five wide. Um, but basically, if you run a quarterback draw, um, it's going to get really, really good blocking. Okay, I've done videos on that. I've talked about it as it's as it comes from bunch quads or as it comes from gun empty base. What I haven't talked about and what I'm really, really excited to talk to you about today is what happens when you can run a quarterback draw under center in Madden 21 and how does that play against the meta and you're going to find that this literally um I mean, this is just such a really good run. And so we're going to jump right into it. Again, if you haven't subscribed, be sure to do that. If you have specific Madden questions, you can always text me. My number is 812-216-3644. We post four times a day here on YouTube. Hope you enjoy the tip. Let's jump into it. All right, guys, we're going to go get random play. This is, I mean, this is insane. This is this is crazy, crazy good. If you're, all I want you to think about is if I'm in Mutt or if I'm in, um, if I'm using the Ravens, right, what could you do with this? This this run is so powerful. It comes from the single back doubles wide open formation, and it is found in the West Coast offensive playbook, okay? And literally all we're going to do is we're going to run this quarterback draw. Now, there, the only thing about it is there is an auto motion attached to the run. So if they get good at reading the auto motion, they could potentially shoot the gap. But all you're going to do is slide your line to the side that you want to run. And just let's just watch what happens here. So running back goes this way. I can literally, it's a quarterback sweep to the right. You see how you get instant control over the quarterback this year? That's what makes quarterback draws so good. It makes them so glitchy because you get instant control. So literally, I can go straight up the middle. Let me show you this right here. If I just go straight up the middle, look at this. You, you notice what just happened. Like, just take a minute and instant replay to appreciate what you just saw. What happens is a quarterback draw, um, the line is going to pass block. So it means they're going to first initial step is going to be back. So the defensive line is going to rush the passer. Well, what's going to happen is oftentimes they're setting up edge heat. So look at this instant control before they can shed. Now you're out and you're up the middle. This allows a lot of different things that you can do. Let me show you this to the run to the left. So if I run to the left, I'm going to slide my line to the left. And you'll see here, get instant control. Now that's the only thing that can happen sometimes, but it very, very rarely happens to me. Uh, I've ran this play so much. This is better than five wide quarterback draws. I promise you that. But look. What you have to do is you have to back out with your quarterback if you want to run a sweep. If you want to run, if you want to run, most of the time you're actually going to direct run directly up the middle, especially if they're man line, because you can literally just go just like this, and I mean you're up for 10 to 15 yards every single time, and it's just really hard to defend. There's not much they can do to stop it, but if they start if they start pinching everybody in the middle of the field, then you're just going to back up and go out. As you see here, it's just a little quarterback sweep, and you're out for five or six yards. So you could do this on both sides of the field. Um, let me show you what happens when they pinch everything and base line. Let me just show you what this could look like. So if they're bringing everybody in the middle of the field, what you can do easily is just get out of here with your quarterback. Just go out here. Just that simple little little sweep animation. Um, it's basically just a quarterback bootleg to the right um, that you can easily do that. Um, what I do want you to notice is just how consistent the middle run is, though, like with this play. So if I just want to just go right through here, I mean, they just don't react. That's the good part about it. It doesn't matter what they're in. They're not going to react to this run. Um, and that's the cool part. So even if like, like here, we're going to blitz eight. Okay. We're going to blitz eight. Let me just show you the play on defense. So we're going to blitz eight and we're a man. And I'm not a hundred percent positive this work, but I really think it is. Watch what's going to happen here. Oh, they're blitzing me in the middle. So I can just come out here, right. And get out of here. And with one juke, if I'm able to make that one move, that's a touchdown. That's the power that you get with a quarterback draw. Let me show you a run commit. I haven't actually tested the run commit yet. Uh, run commit could be pretty good. Yeah, because they because they kind of instantly get him. But, um, I mean, they're going to run commit, and you could run like stick and not. You can run anything, really. Uh, let me see here. There's another run commit. But you see how you can get out? You can get out of the back on this. 
So to me, this is really, really glitchy and really, really good, um, especially with the fact that step up in the pocket and you can literally, inst I mean, it's instant one, it's an instant one yard or two. I've never lost yards on this play. That's what, and with the reach forward animations, you can literally turn this into just a quarterback sneak right up the middle, and you'll consistently work the ball up the field. Now, what what people will try to do, what people will try to do is they're gonna try to um, try to basically do something like this out of zone here where they're spying. Uh, let's see here. Let's see if I can't get this guy. So like they may spy this guy, they may blitz this guy down. You know, you can see all this kind of stuff when you run QB draws, which is gonna open up passing lanes like crazy. But what you'll see here, okay, spy stuff. Now I'm able to get out, and if I make one juke, you know, I'm to the second level on this. Um, the other thing you have to understand is when you take control of the quarterback, you need to make an initial move, and then if you stop, you can let your block set up. So a lot of people, when they run this, they're going to want to, unless the lane is open to run right down the middle, what I would do is just stop. So like right here, and then you see how you see how you can instantly run down the middle. Now, that's kind of part one of the tip. Part two of the tip is if they start to overplay your middle runs, then all you're going to do is just drop back so that you go back behind the line of scrimmage. And you do have to, it is kind of sensitive because the core, the computer will kind of take over. If you let the computer just run this, Watch what happens. This, I'm not touching anything. Look, the computer even knows it's a glitchy run. Like the computer even knows, oh, I'm going to slam it right up the middle and it's going to, I mean, it's going to work. I'll show it to you one more time. Then I want to show you one little trick you can do um, with it. But basically what it comes down to, um, what it comes down to is you want to take a click to the left or to the right. So essentially you're going to try to take over the quarterback and you're just going to try to move him just a little bit and then stop and then let the block set up and then go and when you do that when you when you stop in the backfield for just a split second that's going to allow the offensive line to basically dumb out all the defense so you can literally i mean you can do that too i mean it, it, that that's the part that's going to take a little bit getting used to but that's the part that's going to take it from an average tip to an above average tip but guys i just wanted to share this with you as soon as i found it um this is a really really good run <laughs> Uh, I'm telling you what, we talked about it last night on stream a little bit, and then I practiced it some uh, this morning. And what you'll find is this is a really, really powerful uh, running play. You see here, I mean, this the, the instant, what I love about it is the instant step forward he gets. And so it's an autumn. I mean, literally, you're not going to get hit in the backfield. Like, you're going to go forward. And then once you get through the middle of the field, like, it's it's – you know, it might not have the big play potential that the five wide quarterback draws does, but it is so consistent. Like literally, you're just gonna go forward. And you're gonna automatically get three yards, even if you get tackled because of the reach forward animations. That's what makes this play so good. Even if they run commit, you can still literally just power forward for a yard or two. Like I think this might be the best short yardage play bad. Um, you know, literally. Um and uh, you'll see here. So this is a run commit down. Let's we'll see if this works. We're just gonna go straight to the middle of the field. And you see, he's gonna he's gonna fight for a yard or two. Um, but what's also nice about it is, like, if you you can flip the play, and you can run it this way, and if you run it this way, it does give you a little bit different of animations. Um, but typically, your hole is gonna be right open up the middle. Uh, what you have to kind of learn how to do with this run is how to gain control uh, over the over the quarterback. Now, one thing you might do, honestly, this is a little tip here. I've talked about this before, but basically the idea of using double jukes as uh, cutting methods. So if you just double juke him, like if you double juke him and you're in like on a second and inches or third and inches, right right the step of the ball, you're just gonna double juke right to the left. You're gonna see, see that right there? See him, see him animate? See how it automatically pushes him forward for, for several yards? That's another thing that you can do with this. But there's just so much you can do with this run. Uh, I wanted to talk about this um, because, again, if you, if you you know, you see here, if you want to get outside, you just have to take them back and out and around. Um, most of the time, like, because, and you're going to know, right? Like, you're going to know. Because if they're, if they're pinching everybody to the middle of the field, like right here, then I know, okay, I'm going to run to the right. So I'm going to slide protect to the right. And then I'm just going to run him back and out and around. Run him back, out and around. And now I've got blockers and I'm good to go. So, anyways, guys, this is uh, that's a really, it's a really good run. Like I said, it's one of those videos that I feel like I really want 
people to see this. So if you haven't shared this with people, go ahead and share it. Um, it's a great little uh, tip, great little run uh, for you to implement. Guys, um, this is from the West Coast Playbook, and we're working right now on a scheme offensive guide from the West Coast Playbook. We have released offensive guides from – or offense and a defensive guide so far this year, the 4-6 defense and the um, – Arizona Cardinals offensive guide. So be sure to pick those up there in the description together. It's a my Madden 21 competitive bundle if you haven't picked that up. And also, guys, be sure to join the Discord. That's in the description as well. If you're looking for personalized one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions, maybe you need help with this run or you need help with other things like that, um, I do have those available as well. I can customize those to your needs, and you can pick that up in the description. In my opinion, that's the best possible way for you to get better um, because there's just some, something about one-on-one -on -one coaching that just works. So, anyways, guys, I want to thank you for your time. Got a couple more videos coming on the channel. Again, we upload four times a day here on YouTube. We're also going to be streaming tonight, showing you this run in live action, live gameplay. This run is really, really, really good. So just wanted to share this with you um, and just wanted to get it out as soon as I could. See ya.